Hello everybody, welcome to an Enchantress video in Modern. So this is the, the deck of the weekend in Modern, it's top at Sunday challenge and it's, it's a deck that got so much with Modern Horizons too and uh, yet it didn't really, it didn't really do very well in Modern, you know, over an year of Modern Horizons too and uh, I want to say this is one of the first top eight appearance of Enchantress. Okay, uh, what does this deck do? Um, well, the, the the name comes from Enchantress Presence. It's a card from Onslaught. It's a three drop, and uh, whenever you cast an enchantment, you draw a card. You also have Sithis, the Harvest Hand, that basically does the same. It's the Argoithian Enchantress, but doesn't have Shroud. You'll have Sanctum Weaver, which is the Sarah Sanctum, and then you lock your opponent down in two ways: one with Solitary Confinement, which means that they can't attack. It's very expensive though, you need to have at least one or two enchantment that draws you card and you have to have a hand that's functioning. So it's really, really bad, let's say. It only can work in this deck. And then you have Blood Moon. You have four tutor in the form of Sterling Grove. So you can put this on top of the deck and then just lock your opponent down on turn two or three. You have a Rampant Grow in Utopia Sprawl and then you have a Abundant Growth also commune with spirits, this is a new addition, it's from uh, Kamigawa. David Superstar, good morning. Dorian, good morning. Good morning, good morning everyone. So yeah, this is a couple of removal as well on Thin Eyes in Prismatic Ending, and the mana base is quite straightforward, really is. One Emrakul Dion Storm in the side is kind of awkward, this deck can produce a lot of mana. The win condition is only Destiny Spinner, so I guess uh, against, um, I don't know what, control deck, removal spell base deck, you bring in the Amor Cool because you win with Sarah San Sanctum Weaver. Not so sure though, certainly for Mill though. Good morning everyone. We got Ley Line of Sanctity for Burn and the, the typical matchups. Not so much versus Thoughtseize decks, might still do it because it's an enchantment and that's relevant. Flame Blitz is another cool one, definitely bringing this in against Four Color Money Pile. Three, rest in peace, three, two Stony Silence. Let's get to the games with the Enchantress. I certainly played Enchantress in the past, but again, didn't really play very much afterwards since um, it kind of disappeared. Although, I mean, it's a. It's a pretty powerful prison deck. It's a Blood Moon deck. Uh, you have how many fetches? Four, five. You have eight. You have 12 mana for Blood Moon. Uh, I guess Abundant Growth as well. All right, 16 mana for Blood Moon. That's plenty. That is very much. Let's go. On the draw against Kiwi the Fruits. My hand isn't fantastic, but I think I'm keeping it. Hope you can't hear the noise from uh, the outside. As I said yesterday, they are demolishing uh, a building not that far from where I live. So there's there's a lot of noise, a lot of dust these days. Okay, that's Hummer time. Oh, 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 I hate Esper Sentinel. Why is Esper Sentinel so good? I don't get it. I do not get it. Hey, <laughs> not not great draws on my side. Not that great of a draws on my side. Uh, I don't know. Probably just taking Temple Garden. I don't know. I don't want to necessarily take Stomping Ground immediately, just putting my opponent in the idea that I play Blood Moon, it's not, it's not good, I think. <laughs> yes, Urza's Saga. Stoneforge? Stoneforge, a pretty straightforward start for my opponent. Esper Sentinel, Stoneforge Mystic, Urza Saga. You will, we will not win in it. I mean, this deck is not fair, but like, we're not winning a fair way. We need something unfair to go on. 
Yeah, to go Kadra complete. So we're gonna keep this prismatic candy for that one. As I said, I'll take Temple Garden here. I have abundant growth that gives me red mana. And I don't wanna put my opponent the idea that I play Blood Moon. Cause once you put them into an idea, they're they will play around it. But I don't wanna do that. Okay. Let's go kill with the fruits. It took a sprawl. This is this is better than abundant growth. Yeah, it is. So next turn I can cast ending and abundant growth. Ending here, I guess it doesn't matter. Nah, still, I think it's better. Hit attacks. Name uh, white. And pass. Could I name green, maybe? Not sure. I could still be a uh, Vivian combo here. I guess not really, because I have 60 cards in my deck. Well, Navier topated the challenge this weekend with Vivian combo. He had abundant growth over both of Nisa. Really uh, unsure of what's the best. Um, Deck building for that deck. It's a really hard deck to build. Yeah, I guess I'm not even. I'm even gonna attempt to bluff the Solitude here. Might as well. That's the thing with the new with the new elementals. Even if your opponent stopped out, they can't interact. They can't interact with you with Endurance and Solitude. I mean, Endurance now doesn't matter, but like some other decks. Okay, so this is the 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 the, the college, right? I assume. They attack me for six. Uh, blue mana, uh, Hollow Fountain untapped could mean uh, Spell Pierce of Blacksmith skill. I think Blacksmith skill is X proof. It's only plus two plus two to an artifact. But no, it's only relevant about the X proof. Alright, I play land first because of the uh, Spell Pierce. If they have a, a blacksmith skill or spell peers, nice. E yeah, fine. If you have spell peers, you'll counter my wound on growth. It's it's not a big deal, I think. Okay, you don't have it, maybe. Yeah. And super clunky, but I'm still alive here. Point I can uh, get to, um, obviously I dash pure still paladin or things like that. You don't like the flesh evoke? I, I like them. I like them. I think they're a great tool to win on the draw. Winning on the draw is basically impossible in Magic nowadays. Or like, it's possible, but you're so behind. And the Flesh of Oak uh, trade a card for Tempo. Okay, I'm officially dead. Good game. Uh, 3... 5, that's it. Uh, Bloodman might not be the worst, honestly. What if I take out Destiny Spinner and be like, how do you win? Do we win if I take out all the Destiny Spinner? Probably not. Because Destiny Spinner sucks in this matchup. Like, having a Destiny Spinner is like drawing a mulligan. I guess it's a green card for Force of Vigor. I'm only putting one. Once you lock your opponent down, you don't need a Destiny Spinner. You don't need more than one. One would be enough. Unless it dies early, but you have a whole of the Iliad's generosity. Alright, fine. Stick out like an Abundant Growth. I don't even know. Abundant Growth probably is too good, though. I shouldn't take this out. Yeah, I don't want to take out. Alright, I'll take out Enchantress Presence. Maybe it's too slow. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not, but... Here we are. So the Stony Silence is relevant because it makes your opponent, for example, here, the Pure Steel Paladin. So Sigarda's Aid works under the Stony Silence, but Pure Steel Paladin doesn't. Also, like, um, 
spring leaf drum doesn't work. You can't give flying to a nexus once it's activated. Those type of things. Maybe it's not as good, but I think it's alright. Flame Blitz. Love the idea that this card is playable. You want to splash blue from freed from real to have infinite mana with... No, this is a modern, my friend. A modern. It's a very modern format. Those things are not modern uh, doable. It's cool things, but they're only up in the air or for the kitchen table. I'm gonna bottom so it's here you can find This card needs a lot to work. In fact, seeing three is very much for me, but I guess you need uh, one to, to, to lock them down. Okay, so now what can I do is uh, turn one Utopia Sprawl. And then just hope to draw a planes and slam a Blood Moon. That's a line. I think I'm gonna do that. Or maybe, since I obviously... Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna go... Ma, you know what? I Whatever... What... what Whatever I'll top deck, I'm still gonna go for the Blood Moon. Because they have Utopia Sparrow to choose white. So I'm gonna go Blood Moon on two here. I'm gonna go Blood Moon on two here. And the uh, Blood Moon on two shuts off um, the, the thing. The, there is a saga. Shuts off many of the double white. Especially since we've seen Hollywood Fountain. That means your opponent can simply start on the 10 planes list. Yeah, this is on. Speak from coast and things like that. If the best percent, I'm gonna let them draw an extra card. Sure, cigar is aid. Do they have a zero drop? If they have a zero drop, I might die on turn two. That's always the risk. Very nice draw here. Go for a moon. Now I don't have white mana, but I have the abundant growth. Moon is red. Hello, Libolik. And now, again, they play only four planes and the, the spring lift drum. I think this Blood Moon will buy us enough time to win this game. I, I have this feeling. And there's a couple of Blood Moon Enchantress. Just because you have Sterling Grove. Mm. Nice. Abundant growth here. Now this land adds any color. And then uh, let's play Destiny Spinner. Wait. Yeah, I think I can play a Destiny Spinner. It's, it's our only win con, so the opponent goes for his magic ending here. I don't know how I can win. Okay. Start by attacking, because this is how this is how the game will end with beat downs by Destiny Spinner and its friends. Oh yes, I'll play this is more mana efficient. If I had to pick between fur color and blue eye control, what would I go with? Well, one is a, a tier one deck and the other is not. So I'll pick with fur color, yeah. It's just blue white has it's too weak against uh, it's too weak against uh, fur color. That's the problem with blue white. And that's a big problem. Hope that the opponent concedes after... Yeah, but you should always have one wing con. Because, well, like, well, what if they don't concede, you know? What do you do? You just beat them with a 1-2? It's not reasonable. You're gonna die of decking. And it's not worth it. Like, like obviously Destiny Spinner is a bad card in this matchup. And I ideally wouldn't have this. I would just have, I don't know... Um, a in my deck to not deck, you know, anything, literally anything, 
No, actually, I'd rather suck. Like, I'll end it when it gets discarded, you shuffle. I would, I would rather have that as a wink on. Because this deck doesn't actually need any wink on. Just lock your opponent, and then they can't do anything. They can't attack you, they can cast their spells, and you, you draw it all. Va bene. Uh, what am I doing here? Mm -hmm. Let's play another Blood Moon. This deck loses to four color, sure. I mean, it's reasonable. <laughs> I mean, once you pick up a deck that's outside of the, I don't know, top top 10, top 20 deck in modern, you're obviously gonna uh, encounter a lot of bad matchups. And that's fine, you're also gonna encounter a lot of good matchups. It's, it's the polarized nature of modern. Who doesn't lose to four color apart from burn? Titan Shifts is the best deck against for a caller, as well as uh, I think Tron and Amulet also have a good time. You can play, you can go all in and play things like Belcher, Song of Creation. You know the extreme combo deck. Also, uh, beat uh, Burn. Uh, sorry, beat for caller. Things like Anosium. You know those extreme things. Not that you have to play them, but those are the bad matchups. Destiny Spinner makes your stuff uncomfortable. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Is this matchup? It doesn't. That's why I said it. Anyway. Um, mm, yeah, not much to say about this game. I was on the play. I had to turn to Blood Moon. Since you have all of the Hall of Generosity, that's true, David Super Daver. That's true. I don't deck with a Hall. Although, as you saw, the lock plan involves a Blood Moon. This is a green white deck with Blood Moon. That's true. You either go under or on top. <laughs> That's very right. Yeah. Okay, I keep. I got Force of Vigor as well as Sanctum Weaver. Okay, let's let's keep this in. Sanctum Weaver is gonna fix her white mana, as well as having a Force of Vigor ready. We're playing against Hammer Time on the draw. And again, this is the reason why these free cards are so good in modern. Because being on the draw against Hammer Time, you just lose if you don't have any free card. That's the nature of, uh, I don't know, in Pioneer, if, we play, if you're on the draw against Mono Green, you might just be dead if they have a good draw. Whereas in modern, you have the tools. And that's why I like free cards. We were talking about that earlier with Solitude and Endurance and Force of Vigor too. Okay, they have three cards in hand because they played a lot. Ooh, nice draw. Nice draw. A little cantrip to begin. One more enchantment for my Sanctum Weaver. Obviously, ideally, I would have put the hole on the... Uh, sorry, the Abundant Girl on the hole, but... Of course, I'm gonna curve out. How does this deck win? So, I'm playing against Kiwi the Fruits and Kiwi Twitch. Messaged in my chat. Are you a relative of my opponent, Kiwi Twitch? Or is that a common practice to just call you all Kiwi? Alright, I think I'm going to force a vigor, deserves a Saga and Sigarda's aid. Yeah, I think I'll do that. What do I pitch? Probably one of these three cities. Remember, now Urza Saga doesn't add any mana. Okay. Two, two, two. Oh wow, Colossus Amer. Orca boya chat, orca boya, I might just be dead here. I might just be dead. Was I a little bit greedy? Maybe, maybe I was. Buongiorno ignotus, come of us. The world is full of kiwis. That's true, I have some in my kitchen as well. Buongiorno, buongiorno ignotus. Fifth month of sub, thank you so much. Oh, mango! Oh, baby! Yes, I would like to play a Steel of Primordium. Thank you. Uh, what do we kill here? The hammer, right? I, just, I have one hammer, one seal. I mean, that's fine. It could have been a removal spell, but seal is better. I'll kill it now because they could have uh, the, the thing. They could have the thing, uh, the blacksmith skill. All right, opponent, you can go ahead. You're two ornithopter in New York. 
Ravnica Plains. City of Guilds, not any Ravnica. Always lucky, always lucky. No lands? I'm so sorry, opponent. Oh, the planes? I'm so I'm not I'm not actually not sorry at all. I'm not sorry at all. Alright, let's play the harvest hand. Probably should have played Sanctum Weaver first. But I'm in the mood for some tour tour. Charma Glor. Thank you for the second month of sub. Thank you, thank you. Alright, they can cast their Stoneforge Mystic now. They couldn't before because they destroyed our land ability on the stack. You can even hold the seal. Yeah, that's. I mean, I can. That's true. That's a. That's an interesting uh, idea. I didn't think about it, but yeah. Okay, they got a Kaldra Completa on top of the deck. Let's see if we land the draw. Sarah, Sarah Sanctum, Solitary Confinement. Okay, we are. We have the basis for the the loop here. Ilupo, we have the basis for the loop. Uh, do I just go Sanctum Weaver? Uh, maybe just Sterling Grove first. Yeah, let's just let's just give our things X proof or rather Shroud. Maybe not. Oh, I draw land. All right. Very good, Mango. Very good. So I can go land. Go to ten. Okay, oh, so this one gains life. That's true. And then I play the Sanctum Weaver. Weaver. Okay, e I might even chum block the Caldra. I don't have a trample. Niente. Come on, detto. Go ahead. Go ahead, opponent. Go ahead. Turu, turu, tu. Turu, tu, tu. Okay. Caldra is coming to town. I'll get a six. I think we got the lock. I feel like we got the lock now already. We have. A... Yeah, I mean, let's see what I draw, but. Bye. Let's see what I draw first. Do I want to bring back Seal of Primordium? This thing is indestructible. Alright, draw. But oh, Force of Vigor. A. Force of Vigor. Guarda, uh, let's do solitary confinement first. Hmm, actually, let's think about this. I I don't think I want to play Force of Vigor, though. I want to let him get an artifact, spend some mana. So I certainly want to cast solitary confinement first. Draw a card. Hmm. And then what? I'll play Abundant Growth. And then I just cast a Force of Vigor. Yeah, but Seal of Primordium doesn't work against Kaldra, you see? Play a Boondung Growth, draw a card. Draw a card. I kind of want to play Blood... No, actually, no, I don't want to play Blood Moon because of the hall. I want to keep the hall around. Yeah. And remember that next turn I don't take a draw step. Vabbè, uh, let's just pass for now. Remember, they can't attack. I, I, honestly, I don't know how this is gonna go. We'll see. This is my first match with Enchantress in a while. I don't even remember how the deck works. Maybe they can pick the Needle, but even if they do, I can still force a Vigor the Needle. They didn't even float mana. I definitely don't want a Blood Moon, because I have the Hall, plus Seal of Primordium, and also two cities. I can loop two cities with the Hall. I, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just making things up right now. If I have a, an Enchantress Presence, then I can do that, I guess. Is Shroud on your enchantment in support at all? Maybe. Still in Grove, get Destiny Spinner? Maybe, eventually, but I don't think I need to do it anytime soon. Cast cities to draw four. What? Do you know what my cards do? Cities to draw. F Wait, is that how it works? No. Wait, is you draw four? No. Really? 
Did you just make that up or is actually what happens? All right, I got sh sh Shadow Spear finding enough removes X proof, doesn't remove Shroud. Lupo negativo. Thank you so much for the fourth month sub. I appreciate the support. Okay, so what happens now is my opponent has Shadow Spear, which does literally nothing, stone nothing, because of the uh, remove shroud, but uh, not actually. Because uh, sorry, it removes X but we are shroud. <laughs> uh, you keep the thing, va bene. Do 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 do. Okay, you can't attack me, or maybe you can. And yeah, all right. Now, uh, what do I do? Uh. Pfft. I guess I just put on top something with the Sterling Grove, right? I think so. I think I put on top something with the Sterling Grove, like Enchantress Presence. I think I have to put on top Enchantress Presence. I believe so. Allora, sacrifice this. Put on top Enchantress Presence. And then I can... Do I also want to put on top Sterling Grove? No. I'll just untap. Uh, discard a card. I'll discard this Winds of Peace. I guess I can discard Blood Moon. It looks pretty... Uh, maybe eventually I'll need a... I don't think I'll ever need a land. Alright, so don't draw. But then I play Cities. Draw a card. And I draw the Enchantress Presence. Okay, and now I choose the, the, the whatever, the cities, and then I play Enchantress Presence. Tapping this, va bene. So I play Enchantress Presence, draw a card. And now I should be able to maintain my Solitary Confinement. Right? I think so. Now I put on top something with the hole, I guess I can wait my opponent's turn. Yeah. Um, in my opponent's turn, I put on top Sterling Grove. Well, I guess I could have done it now and cast Sterling Grove this turn. Yeah, I punted. All right, that's fine. Now my opponent uh, can exile my my permanence. But uh, that's a mistake. I should have used the hole immediately. Anyway, I'm fine. I don't play land because I discard it to the solitary confinement. I'm setting up the loop. Uh, it's risky because now my opponent can. I don't know, answer my solitary confinement. Let's see. We have to play Blood Moon? That's true. It's too late, we have to play Blood Moon. You're right, because I'm not taking a draw step. That's true. That's true. So, ah, that was a big punt. All right, I think I can still recover, but once I play Blood Moon, I can't all of the Storm Generosity anymore. Yeah. I'm really hoping they can't answer my solitary confinement, or I might just die. Rise Prometheus. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. I think this deck, what happens is, is very hard at the beginning, but once you learn its nuances, it's gonna be rather easy to execute. But for now, it's definitely hard to understand how exactly it works. They, oh, oh no, it exiled my solitary confinement. Oh no, 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 no. They exiled my solitary confinement chat with March. Uh, I could have had a Southern Grove in play. Ah, uh, big puns. Big puns. They can attack me now. Thankfully, it's just six damage and I'm not dead.
lock this thing. Let's put on top, uh, what do I want to put on top? Certainly put it on top something. I think it's Sterling Grove. Right, so I play Sterling Grove, draw two cards. Remember that Force of Vigor doesn't kill Kaldra. That's a big deal. Get another confinement. Yeah, that's that's the goal. They have only one card. Okay, so draw step. I'll play Sterling Grove, draw two cards. Sì, però porca merda. Tu pesca una cazzo di magia. I have to put Blood Moon now. I have to play Blood Moon now. And then I don't have the Hall of the Storm Giants anymore. All of the Leo Generosity anymore. Actually, I put the thing down and I lose. I need to draw exactly two enchantments off the top. Am I dead on board to this? I'm probably not dead on board, actually. Just shut up, chat. Sorry. I mean, just shut up. Think. If I put thing on top, and then what? I just can't sustain it. I don't have any enchantments in hand once I play the Blood Moon. Allora. Um, they have one card in it and it should be bad because they just pitched March to March, so in hand they have a land. Um, if I go for some vigor, I can kill the Shadow Spear, and then this is a five. I can, I can block it. I can block it. Then what do I do? I can put on top an enchantment, something like Seal, but then I guess I can put on top Cetus, and then I survive. Yeah, so I'll just go land, go here, I chum block here, force of vigor this, and then it goes to exactly one. Okay, I'll repeat it once again. I'll repeat it once again. The solitary confinement requires you to have enchantments in hand. If I play Blood Moon and I don't draw an enchantment, I lose the game. Actually though. Actually though, chat. I have one idea now. What happens if... I don't pay the solitary confinement? And then I put it on top with the Hall of the Storm Generosity. That's also a loop. Right? Okay, actually F8 Alejo, I love I love your suggestion of tutoring up on thin ice. That might be the best suggestion. On thin ice actually. Yeah. I kinda wanna do that now. So I'll crack the Sterling Grove. For white. I'll crack the Sterling Grove for white. Thank you so much to Bruce Spy Magic Guy. You arrived in the middle of a very tough situation. But I think we are managing it pretty well now. So suck the Sterling Grove. Go get on thin ice. Play Blood Moon. On thin ice. Play Blood Moon here. Thank you so much to La Lemona Sprechata. Ma che nome è? Buongiorno, buongiorno. Thank you for the Prime sub. I play Blood Moon. Draw. On Thin Ice. Sterling Grove. Very nice. No basic lands are mountain. Do I care? Do I want to put something on top of the hall? Kind of want to, yes. Thank you, thank you so much. Allora, if I go put on top... 
Something with a hole. What do I put on top? The uh, bow? Stolen Grove? Yeah. How much mana do I have left? One. I have to play land, so I have one, two, three. So I can go on thin ice, Sterling Grove. And uh, then I still have a... Yeah, yeah, I think I want to put a green card on top. So I'm going to put on top Sterling Grove here. Or maybe Seal of Primordium. Hmm, what's best? All right, put on top... Oh, Sterling Grove. Okay, Blood Moon resolves, every land is a mountain, sorry, almost every land is a mountain. Then I go Forest, Sterling Grove, or I guess Forest on Thin Ice, Exile Caldra. And then I go Stolen Grove. Oh, Madonna mia, it was, it was tough, but I got out of the situation. Maybe you're like, it wasn't tough. Could be that it wasn't tough. It was tough for me at my first match with this deck. If you are a... Enchantress expert, I'm sorry for letting your expectation down. You are free to go to some Reddit website saying that I suck at playing Magic. Buongiorno Fabio. Grazie, grazie, grazie. I appreciate the support. Bruce Spy Magic Guy, thank you for the sub as well. Thank you, thank you. You're gonna uh, go to sleep. Good night. Good night. Alright, my opponent uh well they got a combat. They don't? Okay. Uh, do I want to put on top something? Yeah, let's put on top... My uh, well, god, let's draw a card first. Yeah. First, I want to play another Sterling Grove. So that we lock them down fully. Uh, what? Oh. I guess I can play something like... Um, a stony silence. And then I get the 2-3 that activates my creatures. Yeah. You can you can read the card. Reading the card as always, as always explain the card. Sometimes we forget how nice it is. read the cards to explain the cards I am literally clicking buttons right now hope you're fine with me clicking buttons it's a little bit fun actually to, to do that this deck is kind of like a dream for the people that love to do, to go off big. Eh, isn't it? Don't deck out. It's okay, don't worry. Hey, did I draw the Destiny Spinner? There it is! Bonjour, Destiny Spinner! Come of us! You can't deck out, right? You have the Stolen Grove? Oh no, never mind. Uh, does this on top of land? Oh, it doesn't? Alright. Vabbè, uh, I pass. What to play a land? Does it give haste? It gives haste? Nice! Alright then, let's activate this planes. You play one Emrakul? Nice. One little Emrakul. What's gonna hurt? It's just one Emrakul. Is Emrakul in the deck? No, I hate wing cons. I have one. I'm gonna board two of this out every matchup the opponent doesn't play counter spell. 
Wing cons are the worst. Attenzione, they're evoking, they're activating Stoneforge. There was a, I mean, as I was growing up as a player, there was a revolutionary article by Matt Nass uh, about uh, wing cons. Uh, wing cons are uh, bad. And uh, the less wing cons your deck has, the better it is. The cost of having an Emrakul in the deck is huge. Huge! You draw an Emrakul, when you need to draw a card, you lose the game. And the... the we have one Destiny Spinner in our whole deck, and it doesn't matter where it is. It can literally be the last card, and you still win. Because at that time, you draw it, and you kill your opponent at the same turn. So it's very important you realize that. Okay, this, this game took a long time, I had to figure out how the deck work. I'm definitely going to make a lot of mistakes with this deck, so... I mean, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully... I mean, sometimes it's nice that I also make a mistake on this... On this videos, I think. Fabine, let's keep. I got a playable... Very, actually, very playable land. I have turn one removal to for Ragaban. Turn two, Sarah... Emissary, no, Sarah's Emissary, what's it called? Sarah Sanctum. Okay, yeah, that's a Ragavan deck. It's probably Blue Red Merc. Oh, nice, no Ragavan, very, very nice. You love to see it. Eh, vabbè, allora. Just casually playing uh, the best mana dork in modern, Utopia Sprawl. I recently bought it foil. I have it here as well for my cube. Look how beautiful it is. Propagazione dell'Utopia. This card is 25 euro. I bought it for 20 because it's in Italian and it's not like in amazing condition. It's fine. It's not damaged at all. It's just not like near mint. So it was 20. But it's a common. And it's 20 euro. <laughs> okay, so they clearly have a counter spell. Meaning that uh, I probably should just not do anything. Yeah. Yeah, big fan of not doing anything. Go, go. Oh, there's a double mic on face cam. Okay, thank you. I will uh, next time. I'll uh, go to webcam. I'll make sure. Buongiorno, pivo. Come of us online or a card shop? No, I don't buy online. Not that much, at least. I like to buy in paper. Okay, now my opponent has clearly counter spell. We 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 we've established that. So. I'm gonna start with Prismatic Ending. I'm using it for Commander. No, I'm using it for Cube. Vintage Cube. I bought it at the LMS Bologna. Va bene, opponent! You fell for my bait! Chat, you know how they call me? You know how they call me. They call me Masturbator. And you can understand now why. Because my opponent felt for my big bait! My big bait. Go. Keep my Cetus? That's okay, how does it feel to two for one? I have an enter. How does it feel? Tell me. How much money do I have? Cinco. Si, però le spell, porco cazzo, le spell, dio bono. Porca merda. I gotta pass here. Hmm.
let's fetch into a block stomping ground so there will be a freight spell. How many lands does this deck even play? Doesn't it play like 20 lands? You Madonna. Hmm. They have three cards. Almost certainly have a land. A uh, uh, counter, I mean. Babine. That's not bad. Let's go with uh, Enchantress Presence first. They play Counterspell. A bit Arc May Charm. And then I go Land Sterling Grove. She isn't even that good, I know, but. And then I go Sanctum Weaver. Actually, Sanctum Weaver dies to removal. Oh no, never mind. There's a, a Sterling Grove. Go. Why didn't I play in Bologna? Because I'm already qualified to Sofia and I don't play Sealed anymore. And I don't play just all the arena formats anymore. Uh, if I come to Copenhagen or Paris, I'll play the main event for sure. Honestly, though, just playing side events so nice. You have, like, no responsibility at all. You can just lose every match and it doesn't matter. Not that I did, but still. A lot. I mean, playing for fun is, is nice. Just go to a big convention, just only to meet people and things like that. Very good. Very good experience. I loved it. I would go again this weekend. Okay, so Sterling Grove now. Uh, what do I want to do with it? Nothing. There's no single enchantment that handles this yeah I won a lot I know but still did you automatically automatically they see my name and be like that's qualified that person has a qualifications ready I feel like I'm drawing a spell what spell can I draw here Bo how do you my money booster box did I end up I end up winning six booster box and I bought four so I return home with 10 booster box. I joined a meeting point with my motorbike, with my scooter. But I had to actually be brought home because I didn't know where to put my 10 booster boxes. All right, draw, spell. Si ma porco cazzo. Ma, no, come, how? Why am I not coming to my beautiful city in Copenhagen? Well, because it's in August. My town, it's so beautiful in August. So, you know, I have to think twice. There's so many friends that come exactly for the holidays. And, you know, it's a, it's a special. It's a special thing. Plus, I honestly, I haven't heard anyone from my uh, around my area that wants to come. So... Uh, to go to tournament, you need to have a, a company, otherwise you don't go. You know? I don't even know what I'm looking for. What am I looking for? I don't think I have outs. I guess cities into cities into flow. Oh, basta. Concede. Concede. Blue Red Merc. I'm gonna bring in Rest in Pepe, I guess. I'll take out all of the Stone Generosity. So that's one less lands, at least. Uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, wow. This seems like a super easy sideboard. Yeah, it does. All, my, all the Danish friends I made in Sweden will come, though. That's true. That is very true. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll decide. We'll decide. There was a, a one time a GP Copenhagen where I slept at uh, Thomas and Evolson house. I never remember how did the GP go. I don't even remember the format. I guess I have every single uh, GP registered here. I have a uh, GPs and PTs logbook. When was uh, GP Copenhagen? Let me see. 
GP Stockholm. GP Copenhagen, June 2018, standard, 5.3, red-black vehicles. I didn't date you. Imagine how bad you have to be to not date you with three buys. Alright, I'm on the play. My hand is... I'm not gonna go ahead and mulligan. Two thousand eighteen is it really that long ago? Very much. It's anti COVID. Anti COVID post COVID. Everything that's before COVID, it's very far away and very good. You go. Okay, fiery islet, Vabine, Vabine. On top and draw rest in Pepega? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, that's that's interesting. Should I just jam it? What if instead I go Sterling Grove first? No, nah, you know what? I think this is very good in this game. Let's just start with this. Oh no spell pierce? Yeah, I know spell pierce. I mean, spell pierce would be great against every single card here. Is the Emrakul for wholesome mill? It is. E allora, let's play Sterling Grove. This is the card I, 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 I care about the least to resolve. It's honestly so nice being on two... Being on two lands. Some people go like, oh, mana screw. Ah, no, so nice to just have spells in hand. I could have played Destiny Spirit, but this dies this dies too bold, so it's just as bad, I think. Uh pa -pa -pa -pa, pa -pa -pa -pa. I'm gonna go and change for his presence. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Thank you, Camp, ha Camp Hamster. But my mom taught me to not accept uh, drive from strangers. One of her first teachings, actually, was Pepengu, no accept drive from strangers. Uh, let's begin with uh, Sterling Grove again. This way I dodge Lightning Bolt. I put it already played two counter spells, so, you know, that's why... Oh, wow, you didn't counter this? Sure, okay. Thanks to Rest in Peace, my opponent won't be able to deploy Murktide, the Channeler is gonna be bad, and then we have removal spells. Buongiorno, Menduba. I still have a billion cards in hand because of the two iterations. Engineered explosives. Oh no. Is that coming now? Do they not play around? Oh. Okay. Do I draw with a Sterling Grove? No, I just draw for turn. Oh, commune with spirits all the way from standard. Okay, I want to go Hidden End, Harvest End. Then I can go Harvest End. On Thin Ice, on Thin Ice. Very Thin Ice, draw a card. Wasn't this our wink on? We played three Destiny Spinner. Buongiorno, Menduba. You dash, Ragaban. Hmm. Do I let Ragaban go through? I think so. But you exile. Abundant growth. Ah, cat, so that's cool. I wanted that one. This is X proof shroud, so opponent can't bolt it. Channeler, that's a nice one one because of the resting Pepegas. 
Do I have an answer to explosives? I don't, right? Raw? Very important that I keep my stolen grove around. Draw a card. Nice. Very good. Very good. Let's give white. E che saltro? Allora, two mana. Can play Sanctum Weaver. Draw a card. Stony Silence didn't come in. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have brought a Stony Silence. For exactly this this reason, huh? Play another Sterling Grove. Eh, but I can I can pass now. Yep. The Cities blocks the Channeler and the Sanctum Weaver. No, nothing. You bolt my face. Oh, that's, all, that's all right. You were watching Canister yesterday and you had the same thought about this matchup. What, to bring in Stone of Silence? Yeah, yeah, we should. We should have brought in Stone of Silence. I mean, worst case scenario, it's an enchantment that maybe lets you can drip. You only hit your... What do you only hit? Your own channeler? Poor channeler, just dying for the sake of a surveil. I'm not sure this was right. Hmm. Ragaban cast. They got four cards in end. Probably one of those is a. Um, hmm. uh, do I want to Sterling Grove something now? I think so. I think so. I'll just put the Enchantress Presence on top of the deck, I think. And draw. Enchantress Presence. Play Resting Pepegas. I'll keep on casting two drops, I think. Must see, die. Let's keep on casting two drops. Like, this is my way to just refill my hand, even if they go... Even if they go for a... Even if they go for a... Explosives now, I think I've gained enough card advantage, right? Yeah. Uh, maybe not. And maybe I should just pass here, just trade. Next time I play a new Sithis. Yeah. Alright, let's do that. There you go. That was a good draw. What, Enchantress Presence? Put it on top. Destiny Spinner, kill him. Hmm. The problem with Destiny Spinner is that it get counter. It gets countered. That's my problem with uh, tutoring that. Okay, they got the explosives. Va bene. 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 And you blow it up. All right. So I'll put something on top. What do I put on top? What do I put on top here, Bo? Uh, let's put something on top. But let me fetch first. And now let's put something on top. Oh, something bad because of Ragavan. Oh, that's true. That's true. Fucking Ragavan. Oh, no. Oh, no, Mangu. Love it. Let's put a solitary confinement then. Eh, niente. Allora, to. Pita questo. Alright, go ahead. I got a 12. Maybe they'll play the solitary. Yeah, yeah, that's true, right? What if they don't attack? Well, then I draw this card. And they don't make a treasure. Plus, it's revealed. Alright, anyway. Take a draw. You took the sprawl. Alright, not bad. Uh, let's go. Let's start with Cities the Harvest Hand. Draw a card. 
Let's continue with uh, Utopia's Brawl. Draw two cards. What's that? Oh, you kill my Sithis? Eva, but there's no window for me to. Ooh, another one and another one. Uh, let's go green. Let's play Sithis. This card gains life. It's it's a big deal. Uh, then what? Oh, I can go like fetch land, abundant growth on the fetch land. Draw three cards. <laughs> Okay, they conceded. Let's clap for Enchantress. Let's go to game three. Uh, let's bring in at least one stone of silence. Can I also consider bringing in two then? Yeah, maybe I just take out Destiny Spinner. I guess Destiny Spinner plus Sterling Grove, it's nice. So no, I don't take it out. What's the wink on of the deck? It's Destiny Spinner. I hate solitary confinement. Can I trim one? I will. Why does this deck play three of this? It doesn't seem like a card I want to have in my hand or multiple times. Especially now that I took out the whole of the Heliod generosity to do the, the don't pay the price, put on top, blah, blah, blah. Maybe I don't need four. Maybe I don't need three rip. I just have two a rip. No, I don't have Vera. Let's just go. Does this go on YouTube? Of course. Every every video of mine go to YouTube. I even upload a zero four. We don't waste content here. Let me think about a card to take out. I already took out a land. Maybe take out Sanctum Weaver. Yeah. I don't know. Let's just have three only. Destiny Spinner is nice. It makes a land into like a 10 10 trample. Haste. Okay, one lander, but it's actually a two lander with Utopia Sprawl. Okay, hope you have Hollywood Hunting got extra wink on. See, that's the difference. That's the difference between uh, me and you. Red Mandoto. Is that you like extra wing cons? I don't. I actually despise extra wing con. So that's why I was very happy to net deck this list. It's like when I played Mill for the first time in my life and the list that I net deck from didn't have any surgical. The people went wild. No surgical. What's this? Is this even a game of magic? How am I supposed to win without surgical extraction in my deck? And Enchantress without Wincons is the same. People just go wild. Alright, Ragaban, what you do here? Do you, are you about to hit a good card? Let's see. Oh, wow, point F6. Very nice. Can this card get a land? It could have, yeah. Draw. Le terre no, eh? Va bene, va bene. I mean, that was obviously too much for me to ask. Lands? Can't have those. Uh, I think I'll play... I think I'll play Cities. It's like the biggest bait, I think. Illamadon, Archmage Charm. That means they have no bolts in their hand. That means they have no bolts in their hand. Draw, lands. Lands, I did to lands. Allora. I'm gonna go cities and ending. I wanna go ending first. I don't wanna cast this because. Yeah, maybe. Actually, you know what? I'm casting this. I changed my mind. They don't have bolt. So they actually have to counterspell this. Obviously bad. Like, I mean, it blocks Ragaban. Let's see what happens here. Maybe they found the bolt. It. I mean, I still got mana in my pool. I'm gonna uh, attempt to do that. Maybe I should have started with this. Actually, yeah, maybe. Was that charm? On ending.
Okay, they found the bolt with consider. They pass, I draw. Alright, they have two cards only. I think I'm gonna cast an Enchantress Presence. Sure. Opponent has only one card in end. I'm feeling good about this game. I'm feeling good about this game. When it doesn't respect the Blood Moon, respectable. They pass. I draw. Okay. Uh, I think I'm casting a Stalling Grove. Nice. So now my Sith is, uh, can't be killed, only countered. Top lane, very nice, very nice. On top and draw. Sanctum Weaver. Hmm. I'll probably play that. This gives me four mana. If they don't counter this, I have like infinite mana next turn. Because you can't kill it. I guess sure, the uh this the the the, the explosives can. That third arc may charm. Okay. I have Unthena is for Merc, I have Ending for like Shredder. I don't know if I wouldn't played any Shredder in the whole match, so maybe they don't have it. Okay. Do I want to fetch first to thin my deck? Yeah, let's, let's go for some deck thinning. Allora, let's begin with a Cetus, Harvest Hand. Do you counter? Do you counter? You do. Va bene. Uh, now what? I kinda wanna keep the Sterling Grove for when I have an Enchantress presence in play. I'm passing here. Am I, am I tutored it up now with the Sterling Grove? My opponent can kill my Sanctum Weaver, so that's like the only bad thing about sacrificing the Sterling Grove. But at the same time, I really want to draw an Enchantress Presence, so I'm going to do that. Let's see, they can kill my Sanctum Weaver. And again, if they do so, it's okay. I have a... I don't, I don't really use my mana anyway. Okay, it's in play now. And this is very impossible. I mean, very hard to kill. You need, like, an Explosive for three, so... For n from now until the end of the game, I think... Oh, the first iteration arrived. After 22 cards. And the first one calls for the other one. It's basically like a Legion Conquistador. The first iteration calls for the other one. Exile the land though. It's not, it's not another one. Do they have Wing Cons? Do they have a Merc Tide? No, more expressive iteration. No, what's that? Ooh, what's that? Explosive on three? Really? Wow, okay. Uh, sure. Okay, that's unexpected, but I uh, respect it. Another one? No? I have any Play Sterling Grove and... Land Go? Got three cards. About to be four. And you pass. I'm not gonna put anything on top. I wanna first draw some enchantments to see. Alright, didn't know about this plane, so I might as well cast it. So we have I have on thin ice in hand, so as long as my opponent plays a creature, I can tutor up the enchantress presence and go presence on thin ice. I was elves in Bologna. I went to 301 in the first side event, and I went 2 2 in the second one. All right, let's go ahead and get another Enchantress Presence. And let's cast it. And let's cast on Thin Ice. And you go Counterspell, okay. And then I'm gonna cast uh, a Prismatic Ending. Keep on Thin Ice for uh, Merktide Regent.
Oh, Mr. God Dispute, I got, officially got. Hey. Not paying. Do I want on thin ice this? I think so. Okay, I'm officially L bent. My opponent has two cards in hand. I got none. But this is the famous late game of these um, green white decks. You just draw lands and die. Whereas that deck has consider and only heat. Sorry, consider expressive iteration. I don't understand why they don't dash this, but I don't know. Up to you. I guess they have a billion counter spells in hand. Rest in Pepega. I think they take. I think they boarded out Merc Tide and Channeler. Nope, it didn't. It's crazy how much value Merc Tide generates. Why is it crazy? It's a blue deck. I mean, it's been around for a year. I don't. I don't think it's crazy that the Express Iteration deck generates value. I draw. And Basta because he died. Okay, good game. I mean, the better deck won the game. The match, sorry. We we, we got a game out of it, though. So that's not the, the worst, right? Okay, I'm on the play for round number three. Keep. Very good end here. I go Utopia Sprawl, choose white. Actually, what if I go Utopia Sprawl, choose red, the turn to Blood Moon? Eh, let's do that. I don't know the matchup, but that sounds like a plan. Hello, Steel Toe. Your friends all say video? <laughs> oh, Ton Timber Symbiosis. Is that Belcher? Alright, love Prismatic Vista. Amazing draw. Because I can go white and Blood Moon and have all the colors. Okay, now we'll see. I mean, there could be Belcher, there could be Amulet. They concede. Gnor il Grande wins. Gnor il Grande wins. Wins, wins, wins. I think that's Amulet chat, so I'm gonna bring in Force of Vigor. And Seal of Primordium. Taking out uh, the classic Destiny Spinners. Did you get on Thin Ice? No. Yeah, let's do this. Keep. I don't have as fast as a Blood Moon, but gems in mine. I don't understand what that deck is, but I have another time Blood Moon on turn two, so can't complain. Great draw, you took this for all. So good. So good. The best acceleration in modern. Yeah, you're really young compared to. Yeah, 20 years old is very young compared to other players. Yeah. But welcome to the stream. We need some more young people around. All right, let's play Blood Moon. I don't even know what my opponent deck is on. Probably some Neoform type of things, but top Mania Questa. What are the Flame Blitz? Four color, four color, yeah. Oh, you have Nitrous Claim? No, Boseju? Mm, aspetta un attimo, allora. If it's Boseju, I'm gonna say yes. Then I'm, I think that's, uh, that's Song of Creation, chat. I think that's Song of Creation. My opponent's playing Song of Creation, I think. You think they will put Power 9 and Dumerian are united? <laughs> I think some people got bored and just made some shit up and were short at the uh, Magic Twitter if you trust them. Okay, draw. You took a sprawl again. That's mana neutral. Uh, how much money do I have? I'm going to enter his prison Sterling Grove here, so let's do that.
Does Plain Chantress Presence? Sterling Grove. And now in the next upkeep, I can... Uh, oh, that's not bad. I don't even know what. They have Song of Creation, that's not bad. How does Song win? Grape Shot. You can check my YouTube video about it. Ooh, I was a writer! Average Evolution. Grizzled Dad. Grizzel Dad. Zurin Orb. Can, I can force a vigor that one. Summon Respect. They got a Toctum Worm. They gain 15 with Narshing Shoal. They summon her spocked. They teach her up a talk them worm. They gain 15. They draw seven cards. Let's go and let's get one next time. What do you want next time? No trophy. You want any trophy with this deck? You are a very positive person, Ignora Games. I'm I'm curious how do they make mana though? Oh, that's how they make mana. Sure. Black mana. They have three cards in the deck. How do they make mana? Bump in the night. What? I'm a bump in the night. Not that player. Bump in the night. Bump in the night. Bump in the night. Nourishing show again 15. That was very unexpected. Endurance evoked. Okay. Oh, do they recoup bump in the night forever? Is that what happens? No, vabbè, really. Infinite bolts? I think that's what's happening. They recoup bump in the night forever. Because first they put endurance back in the deck. Because they have they have eleven cards, so they're gonna be able to draw them all, I think. We'll see if Force of Vigor is able to kill Mox. It's tapped. What do I need it for? It goes back in the deck. So they have at least... Yeah, no, I think my, my Force of Vigor does nothing here. They have no cards in the deck. You gain two life. Sure. A new Mox Amber. I mean, I can't do anything about this. Okay, so they have no cards in the deck. They play a couple of these only because they need to have... Uh... They need to have exactly seven cards in the deck so they can loop. So I think this is when I'm gonna play Force of Vigor. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing Force of Vigor now. So now opponent's gonna get nine cards in the deck. So they need to gain some more life. I don't think it's a problem. I don't think it's a problem at all. Do you think Mono Green Tron is still a relevant deck in Modern? Yes, I think it has a good matchup against Four Color. Okay, so Punin has nine cards in the deck. Eight cards in the deck now. They draw down to one card in the deck. They need to go, again, Mox Amber. Bump in the Night. Mox Amber. You played two bump in the night? Oh, okay. Endurance, and then they have to play double pact. Okay, I think now they established the a loop. Yeah, because they have exactly seven cards in the deck. So now they're going to be able to draw the whole deck every time and do the same thing over and over. And win with bump in the night. You're impressed by vegan combo? Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I've been telling about that, that for a month. But I guess I'm not playing challenges, so people don't uh, care about that, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna concede. I think what they're doing is cool. I'm gonna bring in Leyline of Sanctity, since I can't get Bump in the night. This card targets. Was the green card exiled by Endurance? Uh, Chancellor of the Tangle? I'm gonna take out Force of Vigor. That's fun. That's a fun way to lose. All right. It can't be the possible best win con? Eh, maybe not, maybe not, but who knows. Alright, let's bring a ley line. I think I'm taking out all the win cons. Just simple beat down of Cetheus, I think it's enough. Uh, Solitary Confinement is awful, so I'll take it out. Prismatic Ending, also awful. I think I'm gonna keep on Thin Ice, because sometimes they just cast Grizzle Dad. If I tried Double Master uh, Draft a couple of times. It's good. I enjoyed it. I uh, think that's enough. So Dragon Man gives me Shroud? Ooh, that's true. It says you have Shroud. Hmm. And it's not the worst. Oh, a Seal of Primordium does nothing. Maybe on Thin Ice is bad. Alright. Stony Silence? Ah, maybe Stony Silence also would have been good. Yeah, that's true. Alright, that's a good end. Let's keep. A lot of, lot of hate piece in this end. Ah, we have Ley Line. We have Rest in Pepe, I guess. We have Plus, we just have a function on hand. This is just the dream, honestly. Put a mulligan to 5. The Reveal Chancellor of the Tangle. And we also have on thin ice, so if they go for, uh, so if they go for the, the Grizzle dead, we just exile it. Dream for you, nightmare for the opponent. What happened? Oh, you cast a boon and harvest. Sure, draw. Blood moon. I'll just play Cities and Pass. No need to play the Abundant Growth, I think. You expect Force of Vigor from them. Mm, they've played uh, Bozeju in Game 2 on my Blood Moon. I think I want to draw two cards. Maybe I draw land. Yeah, pass. I don't want to cast this. Oh, I should have attacked. I don't want to cast on Thin Ice because that uh, can get a Grace of Brand. My bigger opponent can go. Oh, Summoner Spocked. So they're moving now. I lose a Rider. They're moving now. I guess I wish I played a Rest in Peace now, huh? They only need Nitrous Claim and they win. Ah, uh, you need to draw land. If I have a land for rest in peace. Ah, it happened. Yeah, I probably should have just played, uh, I should have just played, uh, should just play rest in peace and not abundant growth there. Oh, wow, they passed? Oh, because they want to pay the, the pact with the Mox Amber? Huh. They're not gonna be able to because I unthin ice the Grizzle brand and then they lose for their own pact, I think.
I guess they can go Boseju on my own Thin Eyes. Alright, let's draw a card. Uh, let's try a Utopia Sprawl first. No. No, maybe just go for Run Thin Ice first. Man, if I drew a land, I could have gone Sterling Grove on Thin Ice win the game. I just never drew a land in the top 12 cards. Oh, Luda. Uh, let's go for a on Thin Ice immediately. Then if I draw a land, what happens? If I draw land, I can produce two mana. I don't know what to do. How do you suggest Blood Moon chat? Just come on. Oh, let's go on Thin Ice. Let's see what happens. Draw a card. Yeah, I guess that was Aju. Gonna float black and then the Bosage Mountain Ice. Yeah. Va bene, do, va bene, va bene, va bene. Uh, see. Yes. Okay. Uh, who do I get now? Mm, I get another forest and I put two Utopia Sprawl on it. At least one. And I play Sterling Grove. Yeah. I'm gonna get another forest, because the, the forest can get Bozajut, but that one doesn't resolve. Now I'll play Utopia Sprawl here. Remember I have to make a land drop here. Utopia Sprawl here, and then I'm gonna name, what, Red? Temple Garden. I name Red and I win with Blood Moon, right? I win with Blood Moon now. I just say Red, I play land, Blood Moon opponent loses? I think so. They can't pay Pact. I mean, they can have Force of Vigor. Nice. Very good, very good. Blood Moon. That's what you're saying? I know, but I didn't have lands. You can't say that. You can't say to play Blood Moon if I only have two lands. You know what I mean? Okay, thank you, Blood Moon, for winning game number one and number three. That, yeah, that was a very convoluted line to win the, the, the game. All right. But the game was nice, though. What's my favorite legacy deck to play? Right now it's Elves. It's okay, don't worry, Mensch Fresser. Uh, Marco Fabrizi. It's my opponent. Fabrizio was my hairdresser when I was a child. I don't think I've ever met another. No, I don't think I've ever met another person named Fabrizio afterwards. Any Fabrizio in the chat? No, I do. No, and this is a surname. Hmm, bella merda. I'm gonna take this since it's the only non-land permanent. Hello, Vini. Skullin Tarn. That's a good card. Mm, if I play Sithis dies, I'm not a fan of my cards to die. Your haircut name is Patricio. Similar. In Italian we would say Patrizio, so 
What companion is it? It's the big mare. It's the most beloved mare of all. The Gigantha. Bro. Hey. Alright. Let's start. Throw your counter spell at me, opponent. Your dad is Patric Fabrizio? Cool. Oh, it's not. Drowning the lock? Yeah, maybe I wasn't supposed to play Fetchland. I don't know why, but my tiny brain forgot about looking at the companion. I didn't use the free information of the companion. I was too busy thinking about uh, if I knew any Fabrizio, but still, still don't, I think. It's the dresser. Okay, that's Shadow. That's a Shadow. I'm gonna play the uh, land first. The Sithis. Then I play a Boondon Growth, draw two cards. You bolt my Sithis. It's alright though. That's why I didn't cast this on turn two, because I wanted to draw two cards. And then I think I play on Thin Ice. This that can go draw dress down and just one shot me. I don't I don't like that. No one shot me, but give me 13. I don't like that. I know that this one exhausts Kroxa, blah blah blah. They passed. Very nice. Draw! Alright, let's play Enchantress Presence. Like this. Let's play Enchantress Presence. It resolves. Let's play you, Topia Sprawl. Choose white. And pass. Pretty cool that I, caught, I thought it was flooded on turn one. On game, my first hand, because it was a four land. I literally never draw another land. And it's so nice to not draw lands. Drawing spell is the best. Chain them all. All right. Let's start with the Sterling Grove to give my Sanctum Weaver Shroud. Shroud. Great ability. All the way from... What set is this? Invasion? I think this is from Invasion, right? They concede the game. The game. They must have in hand like a bunch of removal spells. That's a nice thing of playing a deck that's lacking one part of thing. Like we're lacking creatures. So the removal spell sucks against us. So if the opponent draws a lot of removal spells, we win. All right, I'm going to bring in the Resting Papegas and the Stony Silence. I don't bring in Ley Lines. That's five cards. Taking out Destiny Spinner, Solitary Confinement, All of Iliad Generosity. I'm missing one card. Uh, Maybe I take out... No, Blood Money is good. Is it? It's good. Yes. Oh, what do I take out? Sanctum Weaver, one of. Vamonos. Why Emrakul in the sideboard? It's for Mill. Mangu. They dress down after Stilling River Soul. Does the Weaver lose Shroud? Yeah, I think so. I think so, yes. Yes, dress down, remove Shroud from my Sanctum Weaver. Always gotta be ready for the mill matchup. And I guess I'm bringing it in against, I don't know, blue white control? A dress down doesn't remove the ability from Magus of the Moon to turn Mountain into red. What am I looking for my opening end? There is a command about the opening end. These are the rules for mulligans. Complain against affinity. No, no, no. Yeah, exactly. Thrift image. Shadow spear doesn't doesn't work against Tolling Grove. I learned this in historic. All right, mulligan. All right, keep. What do I take out? Probably starting with family. I hate this card. It's terrible. Go. 
Point with special 61. And with a thought, seize. Hammerclaw can be solid cheated now. That's fine, you gain 15. Don't you like? 15 life, it's like a whole new life. You just build a whole new life. With 15 life. Point and Capital One Lander on the play. Big fan. Big fan. Uh, I think... I think I'm gonna start with giving my Cities Shroud. Exactly. A whole new life you can build. Do I prefer Paper Magic or Online? What question is that? It's like saying, do you prefer... I'm not gonna say what I thought. Abundant Growth. It's alright. Very good draw, actually. Have you seen Aladdin? I don't think I did. Alright, let's go Sithis. Let's go Abundant Growth. And that's it. I've done it. Ponente, it's time to give up! Nope, they drew a land. Attenzione. Do you prefer eating food or looking at the pictures of Instagram? Perfect. That's a much better example than what I was thinking. Raw. Opponente, do you have a spell Pierce in your deck? Oh, maybe. Let's start with an Anthen Ice. You heard Mango's favorite way to play Magic is Magic Arena? Oh yeah, totally. Magic Arena, I mean... What would I do without it? Um, so the Blood Moon just takes the door and closes it. Do we want to do that? Ma no, die. Let's not close this game. Let's, let's, let's let our opponent enjoy their life for a bit more. Wait, you can see it on Chandra's presence, not even on Blood Moon? Alright, I'll accept it. What are my tips on shuffling in tournaments? Practice at home, honestly. Oh no, actually, I have, I have, a, I have, a, I have a proper tip. I have a proper tip, chat. Sorry, opponent, you're gonna wait because I think this is a bigger deal. All right, let me go to webcam. Hello. Okay. All right. So the way to shuffle, I think, it's this. I'm, I'm pretty positive about this. Remember, a judge taught me do so so this is your deck face down so you keep your deck with the face towards you okay this is your deck all right let's actually put a prettier a prettier card on top chalice of the wood everyone hates that okay so you put your deck towards you i mean obviously i guess i should be a little bit like this okay this is, this is, you put your deck towards you, this is, and then you shuffle this way, so that you never damage the cards, you never damage the sleeve this way, this way, look, like this, and then you can just very easily just take exactly half and break it at the middle so that you just shuffle perfectly, okay? And you dam never damage the cards. You can even do the arc. Like this. But then... Or you'd be like, oh, you never shuffle the top. I mean, obviously you can shuffle the top as well. And things like this. And you do this. Usually what I do is I count the deck first. With the piles. So first, you count in piles. I do piles of seven, but it doesn't matter, honestly. You can do any piles you want. And then uh, I do that for, for a while, for uh, 10 times. And then you present. It's a long time, I really appreciate you. Abinacci, you 5 0 with this deck, I recommend it on the channel. Nice. You want Boseju. Ooh, you want Blast Zone as well. Hmm, Blast Zone, I don't know, but Boseju. Yeah, Boseju should definitely be in. See, the problem of net decking, Abinacci, is that sometimes you net deck. But you don't know if they didn't put Bozeju in the deck because it costs 70 ticks. Or if they didn't put it because it's bad. 
Alright, uh, we're ready to go, I think. My hand's fine. I always want to start with Utopia Sprawl. Ah, Fiery Islet. That means Merc Tide. I think Merc Tide is a bad matchup. I don't know, maybe not. Okay, that one's good. In Italy, have Decathlon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I think so. Prismatic ending. I'll probably just play that. Big fan of killing the bird on sight. You're hoping for some lions? What do you mean, Tony? Draw. So here, I want to double spell. So first, I'm gonna... Sorry, I'm gonna... What I meant was, I want to spend the most amount of mana for a card. So I'm gonna start with Enchantress Presence. Oh, Diamond's Lion. I, I, they're coming, they're coming. They're coming. Belcher with Diamond... Oh, wow. Enchantress is resolved. They don't even go Archmage Charm end of turn. I think what happens is my opponent has a lot of removal spell in hand. So for sure, I'm gonna cast Stilling Grove first. All right, that's a good draw. Fetching for a Plains. Big fan of fetching first. Deck thinning is real. So first, I give them Shroud. They can see the game. Boom! And that's how we win, chat. First, the Tron matchup is unwinnable. I could see that. I could see that. Yep, yep, yep. Wanna splash for a crumble to dust? Maybe you can splash for a crumble to dust. Oh, look. Against the blue-red Merc Tide, I bring in Rest in Peace and Stony Silence. So it's for explosives. And I take out two... No, I take out one Destiny Spinner, two Solitary Confinement, two Blood Moon, one Hall of the Helios Generosity. I bring back Destiny Spinner. I take out two Confinement, all and blood moon. Yep, that's my plan. Your go. Yeah, I can cast it. Yeah, I'm. I'm assuming I'm gonna bring in Emrakul sometimes, but uh, so in this league, I only played against these expressive iteration decks. What did I play against? Grixis Shadow, Blue Red Merc, Blue White Hammer, and what did I play against? O'Neill Brand. This deck seems actually legit. It it is. I mean, it's it's been around for a long time. This deck. I mean, in modern, easily the top. Uh, I don't know, twenty deck, twenty five decks can be legit. Imagine if they give this deck wild growth, eh? No, the bad exact prismatic ending with my Ragaban. Die, Cazzo, Ragaban. Do you follow the lore of magic or only play? I usually only play the game. But I don't mind listening to the stories here and there. I remember when there was the War of the Spark, I actually listened to the... What? They didn't play prismatic ending? Opponent. Tu eres mato. How do you say mato in Spanish? Let me check. Crazy. Crazy in Spanish. Loco, okay, so I don't know if it's loco, but I'm so stupid. Tu es loco, oponente! Tu es loco, 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 loca, 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 tu es loco. Allora, loco, 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 che faccio? What do I do? Loco, loco, cat, so I'm gonna lose regardless, probably. Uh, let's play Rest in Pepegas, I think. I'll play Rest in Pepegas? Yeah, Rest in Pepegas does nothing. It only does something if they have Merc. But if they have Merc, I lose regardless, probably. So I think my play is Sterling Grove now, and then it's Sithis Rest in Pepega. Tuestas Loco, exactly. This deck made a top 8 in a... Either... It's... Yeah. The the store championship of my store is gonna be double master draft at the end of the month. Double master draft. Look forward to it. In summer, <laughs> my store my 
my LGS. I, th I think in summer there's less magic players. That's what I think. They all <laughs> they, they all go to the beach instead. Reasonable. Same thing with my cube, but we never fire cube in the summer because they all go to the beach. I accept that. But my, yeah, yeah, they're confident promo and things like that. It's too hot to play. I mean, I, I don't think it's that because he has the AC. It's just because... I mean, that's a, a game and you try to do things. Different things, I guess. I don't know, though. Like, anyway, let's fetch for a... I don't have a blood, a blood moon in my deck. So actually, I should probably take out Stomping Ground. Yeah, I'm a big fan of removing lands from this deck. This deck always floods anyway. Okay, allora, uh, I'm gonna go with Cities first, because they're probably gonna counter it. If they don't, then it's good. You cracked your second Imperial Seal today? <laughs> nice. I played a double Master Seal in Bologna. I opened, like, 20 euro value out of 80, 80 euros. And the deck was also not very good. So, it was a... Not a very good experience, but that's okay. It's kind of... It's what you sign up for if you play... If you play sealed, honestly. Alright, I think I'm gonna just play Rest in Pepegas. I wanna hold Utopia Sprawl. Uh, for when I draw an Enchantress Presence card. And after that Double Master sealed on Friday, I played only Constructed. Constructed value was insane. Of the side events. Like, I brought home six booster boxes. <laughs> the, the, the value is really high. Wow, why didn't they... Spell Pierce? I don't know. Honestly, if you, if you like Constructed and you like, and you like value, the side events at GPs has, has always been the best, best, best way to make value all right i'm on seven dead next turn Bo, let's draw something good all right opponent went on the play ragavan you lose as easy as that as easy as that when a tier three dex is on the draw against the turn one ragavan it's over and that's okay. I'm on the play now, though, so things will change. This hand is pretty bad, but I'm not here mulliganing the three lands, four spells. Sorry, three spells, four lands. Why not play Solitary? Then you can't draw cards and lose the game. Uh, Vabine, land, go. Do, 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 do. What tier do you put Death and Taxes? You are in a legacy. I don't have an answer for that. But uh, it's not a very good deck. Certainly a playable deck, though. It's a good matchup against Death and Taxes, so... Can't be that bad. Alright, I'm gonna be playing Sterling Grove first. If they have a Spell Pierce, well, good on you. I'm not... I'm not around here playing around Spell Pierce and Bowls and everything. This video is already going too too long. Let's not prolong. By casting solitary confinement when I couldn't maintain it. Rest in the pepperoni. Hmm. Pepegoni. I think I'm casting another Sterling Grove. Like, they clearly have a counter spell, so let's just play the by far worst card of our end. Like, by far. Super Shroud, they say in the chat. Yep. I got Super Shroud. I did consider, that's unfortunate, because I, I was hoping to time walk them. Quote unquote time walk, of course they draw a card make a land drop. Instead I had to consider. It's alright. Buongiorno, Alfredson. Tutor Cities, you want a tutor already? 
Hmm. No, I don't want to. I don't want to tutor. I think I don't mind drawing uh, just any card here. That's that's a good card. I'll play Destiny Spinner as my opponent is going to counter this, and then I play Resting Papegas. So I did. Wow, they didn't counter. Okay, then you can't counter this. Now they can't cast. Uh, so they can't bolt, and they can't cast that. Of course, explosives kills me, but like. As they say, it is what it is. Goodbye, my board state. Okay. Enchantress presence and pass. Goodbye, my friend. Full exile though. See Jackie, this is why I hate those questions. Because then people take my voice as in, oh you should build that deck, oh you shouldn't build that deck. And then I'm responsible for that. And it sucks. I don't want to be responsible for the deck you build. I want to just enjoy magic and make content. And make you happy. I'll make you unhappy. Alright. I think I'll play another spell. I don't care if they have a, if they lose with Shredder. Stony Silence is still timely. That deck plays like three. The deck plays three uh, explosives. And the first iteration will call for another one. And the second one will call for the third one. And the first one will win the game. That's how it goes in those games. Yeah, I think this is going to be an unfortunate 3-2 losing 2-2 Merc Tide. But, but that's fine. I think, I think it's alright. Draw. Mm, let's start with a Destiny Spinner draw card. That's uncountable. Why am I losing this? Because point has five cards in end. And it's gonna loot away all the Merc Tide and Channeler and so on. I'm I'm not losing this, maybe, but like I'm certainly not in a great shape. It does not this this doesn't have shrouds. I wanna can just bolt it. Wow, so fierce. Sure. What should you build next? You said you built Burn and Yorian. I think that if you like to spend money on magic cards, you should have the shell for Blue Red Merc Tide and Greg's Shadow. It's super fun, it's super good. And you're gonna reuse this card on almost every every good deck. So you just build the shell for Shadow and Merc Tide. Again, if you have money to spend on magic cards. Which is, I mean, what you asked me, I thought. Am I friend with Craig Wasco? I mean, I used to say hello to him during PTs, but... Never teamed with him. How did he remove our graveyard? Or Sterling Grove with uh, explosives engineered. They killed four of my permanent. Alright, need to top deck something very good. That's not bad. I'm, uh, this card is very good against me if I don't kill it, of course. Anything you don't have, you've just been buying? That's great. That's... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just build a shell for, for these decks. 
Once you start trying these decks, you're gonna love them, trust me. Uh, I'm on 11, they deal me 6. So I shouldn't die here. I'm gonna play a rest in Pepega. And then in the upkeep, I can uh, top the Sterling. Gr nice draw. Attention, chat. Nice draw. Can I deal with Jace the Mind Sculpture better than all? I think so. Prismatic Ending X equal 4. Huge draw here. Huge draw. Because this is exactly what I needed. Now, obviously, my cards can get countered and I lose. Or maybe not, maybe they don't have a counter spell. They just have engineered explosives. Which they can't use because of stone and silence. This is important to sideboard this in. Eh? So the theory stops Jace from mattering. Oh, because it says you have shroud. Haha, <laughs> that's true. I didn't think about that. They draw two cards. What? Wait, what? They discarded Archmage Charmer? That's not a good sign, chat. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. That is not a good sign. Wait, they play Mishra's Bubble, they can't use it. Alright, how much damage is that? 8, still alive. I guess I die to Lightning Bolt this way. I mean, fine, I'll lose. Alright. GG, 3-2. 3-2, lost to 2 Blurry Merc. Died. Honestly, I'm impressed. I'm honestly impressed. The wins were... The wins were solid. The losses were... Fight, like we we always won two, we always lost two one, so you know with something going different, we could have we could have won one of these and go for one.